How-To Videos by Kyangol Communications. So, sometimes I want to tra record a training session. I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a client and I'm teaching them how to do something on their website, say, or they're on their Facebook account. And a, a public training video using their name and answering their specific questions probably isn't the best idea. I think they'd rather sometimes feel like they're getting a recording of our actual session so that they can go back over the parts that they want to review again later. And so I've been testing this and for some reason I have not had it working correctly where I was able to record both sides of the conversation. I've been able to record just myself or just them. So I've spent a little time figuring it out and, and just looking at the variables that are the, the options that are available. And this is what I have found. I'm using a Mac, so I and that really is my my world is Mac. I don't really use the PC unless I really have to. So I so you might need to follow through the same logic if you're if you're looking for this information for a PC. But uh, these are Mac instructions, and um, so first of all, I go to my System Preferences in a Mac. That's up under the Apple menu, System Preferences, and you get this window and you go to sound, loading sound. Then with ScreenFlow you get a configure recording button under here and then with go to meeting we get a control panel. Um, so here are the settings. For your sound you need to select line out. I use this I have speakers plugged in to my line out button or port, but I have tried it with internal speakers and it doesn't work. So you're going to need to use line out, not the headset setting. Seems counterintuitive because you need the headset setting for go to meeting, but actually, turns out go to meeting now has the ability to override whatever's in here. With screen flow, you choose your screen. In this case, I'm using my primary screen. Often I use my secondary screen because then I don't have messages popping up and all kinds of other things coming in, but uh, I wanted to show you where the system preferences are located. I have a hot corner up there. <laughs> um, so then you go to record audio and you choose your headset. I'm using a Logitech headset and so that's how it comes up. And uh, there are several options here. So you can choose these various settings, but if you don't choose the headset, then you won't be able to hear your you, your side. You'll only be able to hear your client side. And choose record computer audio. This is recording from line out. Record computer audio is picking up this. If you set sound to headset, this won't hear anything because the headset is overriding this. That's the mistake I've been making for a while. Then in your go to meeting control panel, you do choose mic and speakers and you run it with with through the headset using the go to meeting control panel. Okay. So, now to test how it works on picking up the client side. Because I have both microphones right here together, if I hadn't muted one or the other, then you would be picking up the my voice on both microphones, which would really mess your head because it's doubled. It'd be like double vision only in auditory. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm muting one or muting the other. Up until now, I have had the attendee, which is EA iPad, muted. Now uh, as I, I have muted myself as the presenter and I have unmuted my iPad as the attendee. So now what you're hearing is what I as the attendee am saying. 
I, I must confess it's a little confusing because I'm hearing both in my headset. <laughs> so it's, it's like an echo. Um, so it's making it a little harder to talk. But anyways, I just, I just wanted you to see what it looks like when one side is muted and the other side is alive. Now, I'm going to try something. I won't let it run long, but I'm going to unmute both sides. And so you can see how it can pick up both sides of the conversation by having these settings. Line out in sound, Logitech for record audio from, record computer audio, and then have mic and speakers in GoToMeeting. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Pretty cool. When you do that, you can capture both sides of the conversation. Um, it's, it's actually pretty easy. It was just that I was making this mistake thinking I needed the headset setting for the webinar to work, but I don't. So hopefully that helps you and helps you serve your clients really well too.